Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, uh, man, I want to do my little um, end day video. And uh, the subject of this video, I think it can help a lot of people because it definitely helped me. And it takes time. You know, guys, it takes time when you make changes, when you're trying to change who you are uh, mentally. Um, because that's where everything starts in the mind, you know, and also the heart. But a lot of us, you know, I, even, even myself, when you when you uh when you're the type of person that people tend to always run to when they have issues and what happened is you don't realize this but you end up making other people problems your problems yeah you end up making other people problems your problems and i'm gonna tell you guys the worst thing you can do this mosquito is uh make other people problems your problems because you already have your own problems we're human we're people we have families we have jobs we have businesses we have our own life we have our own bodies we have our own health issues you know and what happened is the reason why i was like this for so long because i was i'm such a given person even to this day but you have to learn how to train your mind you know um, you know, when you when you're a yes woman or you're a yes man, every time somebody asks you something, yes, 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 and, and and you don't realize this, that people they will they will take advantage of that because they say, oh my God, he said yes, well, let me ask him again. Oh, he said yes, let me ask him again. He said yes, and then saying you know, you become that person that they always run to when they have issues, when they need money, they need something. You're that person, and, it, and it's usually money, because <laughs> everybody want to call and borrow some money. But you know, um, I, it took me a long time, and, and I tell you, some of the people that will take advantage of you, it's usually the people that are closest to you, your parents, your 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 your, your, your brothers, your sisters, your kids. You know, they they, uh, and I don't think a lot of times people do it on purpose. I think they just do it because they're so used to you saying yes all the time. So, like, he always say yes. That means he's never going to say no. And you end up putting this burden on yourself, you know. And, you know, you have your own issues. And you're you're doing things for people. And you're taking care of them. But, you know, I, I heard I heard one of my uh, uh, rapper. Well, he's not a rapper anymore. But I heard a guy that I, he's a very... Uh, smart guy and uh, uh, man, Master P. You guys probably heard of Master P. He's a rapper, and I heard Master P say it one time in a video. I never forget this. He said, "You're always doing stuff for people, but who's going to do something for you when you need help?" You know. And when he said that, it just stuck with me. Like, man, I'm always giving, but when I need something, who can I run to? You know. And be honest, guys. Really nobody, you know, but everybody can run to me when they have issues. And that really said, so he was like, if they can't do the same thing that you can do for them, well, you're fair. You're, you're even when you say no, because if you can't do it for me, why should I always have to do it for you? And that message that Master P put out, it really helped me. And also my wife, you know, I used to always be a, a yes man to my mom. And a lot of times, you know, I know she was doing it because she knew I was going to say yes. My mom used to call me and she would tell me, I don't want to hear no. Like she's telling me off the rip, ain't even asked me the question yet. I don't want to hear no, you know. And I think a lot of times, even as parents, we use this to our advantages. We take, try to take, uh, uh, um, we try to take advantage of our kids. Because I hear a lot of parents, you know, and I don't believe in that. You know, I hear a lot of parents say, oh, I took care I, I took care of my child. My child's going to take care of me. And I'm like, that's not fair because, you know, you brought that child into this world, you know, and you're supposed to take care of your kids, you know, and your kids get older, you know, and, uh, you know, when they leave the house, now they're still in the house. Okay, we can justify that. But your kids go out here and they become young adults and men and women and they get married and they have their own kids, but you still want them to take care of your needs. And that's not fair. And it becomes an issue in the household. 
And next thing you know, you got the wife or the husband, you know, having an issue with it. And then you have this, 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 uh, this, this child, you know, uh, trying to take care of the parents and they don't want to say no, you know, but they got, you know, and, 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 just, and, and it becomes a major issue because you cannot say no and you you have a hard time making everybody else's problems your problems so guys i'm just telling you you know um you you, you just can't do it we, I, I i've seen so many stories i've seen so many people you know go down okay and some people and just the reality some people did not recover because they was always trying to look out for everyone else but when it was time for someone to look out for them everybody no one was there and i told myself i would not be that person i'm not going to be that person because we don't know how life is going to hit us at any moment and, I, and i'm not going to be that person where i'm always giving but i'm not receiving you know you know two people in this world you have givers and you have takers and you have to seek out and watch for those takers because takers will take advantage and they will take everything from you till there is nothing else to take and you are and, and, and you have nothing else to give and they will just leave you high and dry and you will just regret every moment of it so that's my message for today guys you know don't let people take advantage of you but, at the, end, but the end, at the end of the day, it starts with you. You have to change your mentality. You have to become strong. You have to become wise. You know, sometimes you even have to pray and ask God to make you a stronger person, you know, so you are not always taken advantage of, you know. So anyway, my message of the day, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.